The 2022 college football recruiting class is one that law analysts believe is going to end up being one of the better recent classes in recruiting history as there's a lot of great players up and down in the 22 class all the way from the five star rankings to the unranked players of that same class. We are already over halfway done with the 2022 college football campaign and there's been a lot of freshman football players from the 22 class that have absolutely been balling out. In today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at some of the true freshmen from the 22 class that are having some great starts to their college football career. Before I move on, remember to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Now let's get into it. The first player I'm going to be talking about in today's video is Ole Miss running back Quinshawn Judkins. As a true freshman, Judkins is on an absolute tear. He's on pace to be a freshman All-American, and he's already playing like one of the best running backs in the nation right now. He's a starter for Ole Miss in a running back room that has Zach Evans and Ulysses Bentley, both experienced running backs on the college level, and he's starting over both of them. In nine games played for the Rebels this season, he has 1,036 rushing yards, averaging nearly six yards per carry, and 13 total rushing touchdowns. He's number two in the SEC for rushing yards and number one in the SEC for rushing touchdowns. And on the NCAA standards, he's number seven in the nation for rushing yards and number three in the NCAA for rushing touchdowns. He's not only one of the best freshmen, but he's one of the best running backs in the nation as well. You need to know the name Quinshawn Judkins. Sticking with the theme of the SEC with this next player, it's going to be wide receiver at Texas A&M. Evan Stewart. Being one of the most highest rated players in the 22 recruiting class, everyone expected Evan Stewart to be an immediate impact player for the Texas A&M Aggies in 2022, and he's done just that. As in seven games played, he has 38 receptions for 478 yards, averaging 12.6 yards a reception and two touchdowns through the air. He is number four in the SEC for receptions and number seven in the SEC for receiving yards. He also leads the Aggies in receptions and receiving yards. Texas A&M's offense has not been the best thus far in this 2022 season, and they haven't had the best quarterback play, even though Connor Wegman is showing a lot of potential in the snaps he's had, and that could potentially not only bring up Texas A&M's offense and Evan Stewart's production. With Wegman potentially being the starter for the rest of the season for the Aggies, be on the lookout for Evan Stewart to break out even more. Moving on to this next player, we're going to be taking a look at a Big 12 team in Baylor with running back Richard Reese. Going into this 2022 college football season, Baylor fans wondered who was going to be the starting running back for the Baylor Bears in 2022 as their two main running backs in 2021 in Tristan Ebner and Abram Smith both went to the NFL Draft for 2022. So that left a big hole for someone to step up and take that RB1 spot for Baylor, and that player is none other than true freshman Richard Reese. Richard Reese, in eight games played for Baylor thus far, has 791 rushing yards, averaging nearly five yards a carry, and 12 total rushing touchdowns. He's fifth in the Big 12 for rushing yards and is number one in the Big 12 for rushing touchdowns and number seven in the NCAA for rushing touchdowns. He's off to a very fast start for his college football career and you need to keep an eye on him as it seems like every week he's getting better and better. Switching things over to the defensive side of the ball, I'm going to be taking a look at LSU linebacker Harold Perkins. Perkins, just like Stewart, who I mentioned earlier in the video, was also one of the highest rated players in the 2022 recruiting class. And just like Stewart, Harold Perkins has been an immediate impact player for the LSU Tigers in 2022. Eight games played in his freshman campaign thus far. He has 36 total tackles, 16 of them being solo, three tackles for loss, two and a half sacks, and even one interception. Perkins has shown a lot of flashes throughout this 2022 campaign, and the future is definitely bright for him at LSU. Sticking with the defensive side of the ball for this next player, 
I'm going to be talking about Indiana outside linebacker Desan McCullough. In eight games played in his true freshman campaign as a Hoosier, he has a total of 36 tackles, 21 of them being solo, five and a half tackles for loss, four sacks, and even two pass deflections. He's also number seven in the Big Ten with four total sacks. He's off to a fast start for his freshman campaign, and it's really shaping up to be a good year for Desan, as he's shaping up to be a great player and is one of the better players on that Indiana defense. Staying in the Big Ten, the next player I'm going to be talking about is running back from Penn State, Nick Singleton. Singleton was a higher rated player in the 22 class and a top running back at that. A lot of people expected him to be the starting running back heading into the year, and he's been just that. He is RB1 for Penn State, and he hasn't been disappointing up to this point. In eight games played, he's rushed for 606 yards on 96 attempts, averaging about six yards a carry, and has seven total touchdowns in eight games played. He's off with a very good start, and for a running back that's not necessarily getting the most carries ever throughout the entire season, he's putting up a lot of production. 96 carries is still quite a bit, but in eight games, it's not necessarily workhorse, workhorse numbers, and he's still thriving with the amount of carries that he gets, which is still a good amount at that. For the final player in today's video, it's Arizona wide receiver, Teteora McMillan. In my opinion, McMillan is having a great start to his college football career, and is honestly one I feel like is going under the radar in 2022 in many people's eyes. As in 8 games played, he has 31 receptions for 532 yards, averaging nearly 17 yards a reception, and has 6 total touchdowns to the air in 8 games played. He's a big part of that Arizona Wildcat offense, and it seems like every game he has, he is making a difference for that offense in some way, shape, or form. He is top 10 in a lot of categories in the Pac-12, as he's top 10 in receiving yards, receiving yards per reception, receiving touchdowns, touchdowns from scrimmage, and touchdowns in general. Arizona fans should be very happy to have a player like McMillan in their program. Not only is he an immediate impact player as a true freshman and making a lot of noise, but he's someone that has a lot of eligibility left. Like I said, he's a true freshman and his ceiling is through the roof. Well guys, if you've made it this far in the video, drop something down in the comment section below. What players do you think I missed? Because obviously, I cannot name every true freshman that is having a great season right now, and I do plan on making more parts of this series as the season goes on. Also, before you head out, remember to smash that like button, turn on those post notifications, and subscribe if you haven't already. Be Ellie out. Oh.